Today we are going to discuss about lentil, which is one of the most important pulse crop in India and the world. Lentil, that is Lens culinaris medicus, is one of men's oldest food crop. Lens is a Latin word which refers to the shape of the seed of lentil. Lentil is known by different names in various countries, such as lentile in French, linche in German, lenteja in Spanish, adas in Arabic, marshimek in Turkish, hiramame in Japanese, and mashur in Hindi. Then fluorescence is a resume. Flowers are small, white tinge with blue, violet or pink. Pots are short, flattened, 1 to 1.5 cm long with a curved beak. Pots contain mostly two seeds. Grains are often light brown in color and lens shaped. It is generally a self-pollinated crop. India, it is mostly consumed as dal. The distribution of genus lens indicates that the Mediterranean region was the probable area of each domestication. Four wild species of lentil are lens orientalis, lens nigricans, lens elvoids, and lens monbretti, which exist in different geographical regions. The area from western Turkey to southern Iraq contains all wild species of lentil, as well as Vicia lentata, a dubious species that can be defined as lentoid Vicia. The region seems to be crater of lentoid, characters that is flattened pods and seeds. Let's see about the area and distribution of this crop. Globally, lentil shares only 5% of the total area under pulses. It occupies 3.78 million hectare area with annual production of 3.91 million tons. Canada is the leading lentil producing country, contributing about 38.6% to the total global production. In Asia, India is the major lentil producing country followed by Iran and Turkey. In India, lentil is the second most important winter purse crop. At present, the area, production, and productivity is approximately 1.48 million hectares, 1.03 million tons, and 697 kg per hectare, respectively. Lentil production is mostly confined to northern and central India. UP, MP, Bihar, West Bengal, Rajasthan, Jharkhand are major lentil producing states in India. UP and MP together contribute about 70% towards national production. Highest productivity is recorded in West Bengal, that is 911 kg per hectare. Let's see about the economic importance of this legume crop. In India, it is mostly consumed as dal. It is good for patients too. The dry leaves and stems, empty pots, and broken bits are used as cattle feed. Dehulled lentil seeds contain about 24 to 26% protein, 1.3% fat, 2.2% ash, 3.2% fiber, 11% water, and 57% carbohydrates. It is a rich source of calcium, that is 68 milligram per 100 gram of seed. Phosphorus, that is 300 milligram per 100 gram of seed. And iron, that is 7 milligram per 100 gram of seed. It is also rich in vitamin C and riboflavin. It contributes about 6% of total pulse area as well as production in India. 
Lentil seeds also provide a source of starch for textiles and printing. Lentil flour is used for thickening of soaps. It is also mixed with wheat flour in bread and cake production. Let's see about the classification of this crop. Lentil, that is Lens esculenta, moench, belongs to family Leguminosae and subfamily Papilioniaceae and have chromosome number twice and equal to 14. There are two cultivated species of genus Lens, that is Lens esculenta, moench, and Lens culinaris medicus. The cultivated species, Lens esculenta, are classified into two subgroups according to size of the seed. The first one is Borsided group. This group indicates subspecies variety Macrosperma. The Macrosperma have large size seeds, that is 6 to 9 millimeter in diameter, which are more flattened, yellow cotyledons and pale green testa. These types are concentrated in Mediterranean, Spain, Italy, Greece, North and Latin America. The second one is small seeded group, which includes subspecies Microsperma. These are small rounded seeds, that is 2 to 6 millimeter diameter yellow or orange cotyledons and testa color ranging from pale yellow to black. These types are predominantly grown in India, Nepal, Afghanistan, Pakistan, Ethiopia and Egypt. Let's have a look on the soil and climatic requirement of this crop. Soil type. Lentil is a well adapted plant that grows in a wide range of soil types. However, heavy textured soils causes high yield reduction, whereas sandy loam soils are the most suitable soil type. It can be grown on variety of soils such as light loams and alluvial soils of Punjab and UP and black current soils of Madhya Pradesh. Climate. It is a very hardy and can tolerate frost and severe winter to a great extent. It can be grown successfully to a height of 3000 meter from the sea level. It requires cold temperature during each vegetative growth and warm temperature at the time of maturity. The optimum temperature for growth is 18 to 30 degrees centigrade. Let's discuss about the cultural practices of this crop. The first one is soil tillage and land preparation. Soil should be made friable and free from weeds so that seed could be placed at a uniform depth. In case of light soils, less tillage is required to prepare an ideal seed bed. In heavy soils, after harvest of Karib crop, one deep plowing followed by two to three cross harrowing should be given. In Utera or Pyra cropping system of rice lentil in Eastern UP, Bihar, Orisha, Madhya Pradesh, seeds are sown in standing rice crop and therefore no tillage is done. To avoid incidence of termites and cutworms, which generally pose serious threat, on light texture soils of North India, soil application of carbaryl dust at the rate of 20 to 25 kg per hectare should be done at the time of last blowing or last harrowing. Let's see about the seed sowing condition of this crop. The first one is sowing time. The seed is sown in second fortnight of October under rain fed conditions. 
However, it can be shown in the month of November in irrigated areas. Under late sun conditions, the seed can be shown up to first week of December. Seed rate and spacing. The seed rate is 40 to 45 kg per hectare for small seeded varieties, that is microsperma. And 55 to 60 kg per hectare for bore seeded varieties, that is macrosperma. And under late planting, the seed rate should be increased by 20 to 30 percent over normal seed rate. Under utera planting, macrosperma genotypes are generally grown and increased seed rate of 60 kg per hectare is recommended. Seed treatment. The seed is to be treated with Benomil or Agrosan GN at the rate of 2 gram per kg of seed before sowing. The lentil seed should be treated with rhizobium culture before sowing. Let's see about sowing method. The seed is to be shown behind the plow or seed drill in lines with row spacing of 30 cm. Under late shown condition, the row spacing should be reduced to 20 to 25 cm. North-south orientation is generally beneficial over east-west orientation. Sowing depth. Lentil seed should be shown at a shallow depth of 3 to 4 cm. As the seed is small, it does not need deep plowing. However, too shallow sowing would dislocate the seeds. The seeds should be properly covered with soil to enhance quick and uniform germination. Let's talk about the cropping system of this crop. It is grown as an intercrop in autumn planted sugarcane. Two lines of lentil may be shown 30 cm apart in the center of two sugarcane rows. In northeastern plains, it is also grown as utera crop after rice. Intercropping of linseed with lentil at the ratio of 2 is to 1 and lentil with mustard at the ratio of 4 to 6 is to 1 is commonly followed. Some other common cropping systems are Karib fallow followed by lentil, that is rain fed area, rice, lentil, maize, lentil, permalate, lentil, sorghum, lentil, cotton, lentil, and groundnut, lentil. Let's have a look on the varieties of this crop. High yielding varieties of lentil recommended for cultivation in different states are for Assam, DPL 15, L4076, and DPL 62. For Bihar, DPL 15, L4076, and L4. For Haryana, the varieties recommended are L4076, DPL 62, DPL 15, L4147, and Sapna. For the state of Himachal Pradesh, the varieties recommended are L4076, DPL62, and Sapna. For Punjab, L4076, DPL62, Sapna, DPL15, Pand L4, L4147, and Garima. For the state of Rajasthan, the recommended varieties are L4076, DPL 62, Sapna, DPL 15, Pen L4, Pen L406, and Garima. For Uttar Pradesh, the varieties are L4076, DPL 62, DPL 15, Pen L4, Pen L5, Pen L406. For the state of Uttaranchal, the varieties recommended are VL4, VL103, Pen L406. For the state of Madhya Pradesh, 
the recommended varieties are JL51, K75, that is Malika, L4076, and Pan L4. For the state of Maharashtra, the varieties recommended are K75, that is Malika, and L4076. For the state of West Bengal, the varieties recommended are the Blue BL58, Pan L406, Pan L639, and S256. For the northeastern states, the recommended varieties are DPL15, DPL62, and L4076. Now let's discuss about the manures and fertilizer application for lentil. The recommended dose of fertilizer is 20 kg nitrogen and 40 kg P2O5 respectively. Conveniently, 100 kg per hectare diammonium phosphate, that is DAP, may be added. Full dose of fertilizers should be applied at sowing time. In some areas, Zinc deficiency is generally observed after 4 weeks of sowing. Zinc sulfate should be applied at the rate of 25 kg per hectare at the time of sowing. And if there is symptom still appearing after sowing, then spray 1 kg zinc sulfate plus 5 kg urea solution in 250 liters of water. Potassium is not required unless acute deficiency is observed. Thus, the recommended doses are for ecosystems having rain fed situation, the recommended dose of fertilizer are 20, 40, 0, and 20 NPKS per hectare. Under irrigated condition, the recommended dose of fertilizers are 20, 40, 0, and 20 NPKS per hectare. And under irrigated late shown condition, the recommended dose of fertilizers are 30, 40, 0, and 20 NPKS kg per hectare. Now let's see how water or irrigation has to be managed for this crop. The most critical stage for moisture stress in lentil is pot formation followed by the initiation of flowering. Providing one or two irrigations, particularly when winter rains are not properly distributed, higher yields can be obtained. First irrigation should be given at 45 days after sowing, and the second, if needed, at pot filling stage. More irrigation may affect the crop performance adversely. Let's discuss about the management of which for this crop. In the crop of lentil period from 30 to 60 days after sowing is most critical for competition with wheat. The major weeds found in lentil fields are Xenopodium album, that is Batua, Lethara species, that is Chatrimatri, Vishya setava, that is Ankari, Melilotus alba, that is Sanji, Sorsium arvens, that is Catelli. Convolvulus arvensis and Lucia lanceolata. Maintenance of wheat free period of 45 to 60 days from sowing is important. Two weedings, 30 days and 60 days after sowing, are adequate. Herbicides like basalin, which is pre plant incorporation, and pendimetallin, which is pre emergence herbicide can be used for effective weed control. Basalin at the rate of 0 0.75 to 1 kg AI per hectare in 800 to 1000 liters of water is quite effective. Integrated weed management of any kind is better for good yield and the environment.
Now let us see about the plant protection measures for this crop. The first one is disease management, Escochyta blight. This disease is caused by Escochyta lentis. The center of the spots turn light colored and develop small black spots in them. Management. To prevent this disease, the seed must be treated with bevistin at the rate of 2.5 gram per kg seed. Let's see about wilt disease. It is caused by fungus Fusarium oxysporum. This is a serious disease of lentil in which the growth of the plant is checked, the leaves start yellowing, plants start drying and finally die. Let's see how this disease has to be managed. Treating the seeds before sowing with tiram or tiram plus carpendazim at the ratio of 1 is to 1 at the rate of 2.5 gram per kg seed is recommended. Let's have a look on rust disease. This disease is caused by a fungus, Euromyces fabi. It is characterized by the appearance of pink to brown pustules on leaves and stems. And how this has to be managed is spraying the crop with 0.2% Mancozer 75 WP. Two sprays may be given at 15 days interval. And let's look about powdery mildew disease. This disease is caused by a fungus, Ericifi polygoni. The symptoms of this disease are seen about three months after sowing in the form of small whitish patches on the lower surface of the leaves. These whitish patches spread further and cover the leaves, stems and pods as whitish powdery mass. And let's see how this has to be managed. Spraying the crop at the appearance of the disease with any wettable sulfur light sulfax or ilosal 0.3% is recommended. A second spray may be given after 15 days of the first spray. And the next disease is downy mildew. It is caused by a fungus, Peronospora lentis. Initially, it is observed in the form of light greenish to yellow spots on the upper surface of the leaves. On the lower surface, opposite to this spot, a brownish cottony growth of the fungus can be observed. Later, the whole affected leaf is covered by this cottony growth of the fungus and may become chlorotic. Let's see how this has to be managed. Treating the seed with theorem or carbendazim, that is bevistin, at the rate of 2.5 gram per kg of seed before sowing is advisable. And let's come to pest management. And let's see about how aphids affect this crop. Aphids feed by sucking the plant sap from the phloem. They can infest leaves, stems, and pots, and mostly colonize the young leaves and growing points, which become characteristically deformed. Aphids also transmit several viral diseases. Let's see about the management for this insect. Foliar spray of rogor or roxion, that is dibetuate, at the rate of 2 ml per liter water is effective. The second insect is pot borer, which is scientifically called Helicoverpa armizera and Heliotis species, are very destructive to the pots. The small larva feed by scraping the surface of leaves. Older larva feed on foliage and flowers and bore into the green pots 
to eat the seeds. And let's see how this insects can be controlled. Delta methrin, that is desis, and monocrophose 0.04% can be sprayed at the time of flowering or early pot setting, which can provide adequate control. Let's come to harvesting, threshing, and storage of this crop. Lentils should be harvested when the pots ripe, but the plants have not become that ripe. The plants should not be allowed to become that ripe, otherwise a large quantity of produce may be lost due to shattering. Threshing is done either by beating the plants with sticks or by trampling under the feet of bullocks. The seed is cleaned and dried in the sun at 12% moisture level for safe storage. Let's see about the yield potential of this crop. A well managed crop yields about 20 to 25 quintals of grains per hectare. Now, coming to the conclusion of this crop, adequate lentil production would help in attaining food security in the country and the world. It is important that the cultural practices for lentil have to be improved for self-sufficiency. Economic status of the Indian farmers would be improved through pulses cultivation like lentil. Lentil production and productivity can be enhanced with the use of improved package of practice. Soil improvement through legume cultivation and incorporation into different cropping system needs priority. Nutritional security through pulses is the need of the hour where lentil would find a place of great importance. <laughs>